I like the name though that you gave this, that the power of, of a pen pal connections. Growing up, I always thought about, I had a pen pal and actually it was, I may, we would just write quick notes and talk about Batman on TV. When we, when you chose that name, what made you pick that name out? I know it was serendipitous for a lot of different things, but what caused you to say, okay, that's what we're going to do? Yeah. I am like you, Glenn. You go out there and make things happen for your leadership consulting business. You came up with this brilliant idea of interviewing TED speakers and you're reaching out, connecting and making things happen. And that's the basis of my TED Talk. We started to advocate for TS Arms and Congress member Mike Levin's office, they helped us with this program. They encouraged us to do it. And that in and of itself, just the fact that someone was able to, to help and there's was someone good who encouraged us and saw some hope and excitement in it. And Different things I'm involved with, such as the school district and my sorority with the book club and the book, I will always write back. It's just, there were all these connections that came together for this pen pal program. And with the situation in South Africa, this program might not really get off the ground right now. It might later. And I've done a lot of deep thinking about this because I am a high achiever and I like to make things happen. And I always like to finish or excel at what I start at, but I'm Mm -hmm. coming to realize that sometimes in life, we think we're doing something for one reason, but really it's another. And so this pen pal program might not right now be giving me exactly what I thought I needed, but it's, giving me a platform to advocate for TS Arms and South Africa as a country that's having such a hard time due to the lack of vaccines. And if I can make a difference with advocating for that, then there's some power in the pen pal connection there to to your question. There is some power there. I guess what I'm also thinking about is that TS started out dealing with HIV and AIDS. The pen pal connection feels like to me, and I think when I heard it, you talk about it in your TED talk, it feels like you're saying, okay, fifth grader to fifth grader, let's write letters back and forth. Let's connect with each other. Let's talk through each other's problems. Let's find a way to connect. That seems to be a different mission than what TS Arm started out with. Okay, that's a good question, Glenn. But actually, the first batch of students that were connecting, one was our grantee, Hokisa, which helps students in that population. So the students were actually interacting with our grantees. And so that was, in a way, advocating for the people we're helping. So there was a connection there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. All right. So there was a built-in connection already set in place. 